Now, a 30-member delegation of entrepreneurs from Rwanda is on a business tour in Ghana in preparation for the Youth Connect Africa Summit, which is actually being hosted here in Ghana. The Director for Investor Services Division at the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, Edward Ashong Latte, addressing the team at a business-to-business -business meeting ahead of the summit, said the meeting was to offer the right orientation for entrepreneurs to be able to network and make the most out of the business opportunities in Ghana. The government of Rwanda has successfully fashioned an institutional framework that is fully consistent with what most economists claim should be conducive to entrepreneurship. The trip to Ghana is part of the government's strategy to empower young entrepreneurs to explore intra-African trade on the African continent. Here is Rwandan High Commissioner, Her Excellency Dr. Isa Kirabo, addressing the delegation. We're here to just really thank and congratulate you, our young people. You very well know that our leaders have not only committed themselves in word, but in deed to, to support young people to take the center stage and leadership in the economic and social transformation of our countries. I'm very delighted that the dream of our president, His Excellency President Paul Kagame, with his brother, His Excellency President Nana Akufo-Addo, on establishing FCTA is now being realized. We hope that as you discuss, you realize that actually the decisions you make, the way you take the risk to follow through, the barriers you break, whatever you see as a challenge, getting back to us to tell us what we can do to make it do for you, happen for you, is actually what's going to make AFCT realized. Director for Investor Services Division at the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, Edward Ashong Lati, outlined various avenues of exploration for Rwandans in Ghana. The incentives that I outlined in my presentation are also for both Ghanaian and foreign owned businesses. And at this seminar, we encourage the participants to take advantage of each other's presence here to explore various types of um, collaboration. I mean, we have this big delegation from Rwanda, and so the least that we can do is to open up and engage them.